Hello everyone, myself Chirag Jogi, I am working as a delivery head in Brainware. Today's topic I am going to cover is one of our client uh, case studies that I am going to walk through. Uh, the company name is NASCOM into security. Uh, so how we boosted 50% of ROI with the an efficiency with Udo integrations and using the Udo for this client. So let's go in detail. Here is the glimpse of our uh, background of our company. So we are in this industry from last 12 years, around 400, 4,500 experts in our network working with us, consultant. Uh, we are always award-winning company. So we have been awarded by INC 5000. We are Deloitte 500 fastest growing company in North America. We have around like two, 200 plus uh, customer testimonials, reviews, rating available on Clutch. Uh, we can proudly say that we have been awarded by Udu as a Udu customer satisfaction uh, award uh, company. So we will be uh, great to have this kind of uh, awards credentials with us. We are also working on Udu as a gold partner and others, other uh, softwares as well. So we are working with Adobe, BigCommerce, SAP, Shopify. As and when required, we go with the consultative approach and whatever the business pain point needs are, we give that consultations, we give that ideation suggestions and the relevant frameworks we suggest. We are based out of North America in uh, Dallas, but we have offices globally in 11 countries. So we have in USA, Canada, in Europe, we have in UK, then in uh, Middle East, Singapore and India. If we talk about Udu team, so I have a good number of team in my uh, department where our 300 80 people working as a Udu developer consultant experts out of them 200 are certified people till now we have done 300 plus already implementation go live successful and we have done around 120 plus integrations so either you talk about e-commerce uh, EDI or the shipping gateways payment gateway such kind of integrations Myself working in Udu from last 13 years, I uh, have very strong expertise in uh, retail manufacturing distribution, solution architect. So background of our client, so NASCOM is based out of USA and they are into false alarm security. The sense they are a manufacturer and kind of B2B manufacturer of uh, a sensor security alarm that you can place at your home and uh, which will protect you and your family. So that kind of components and manufacture device they develop. They are into industry from last 25 years and uh, they, are, uh, uh, they are selling across uh, USA and other regions of the world. And uh, specifically they create a component which are used for security purposes and the end product as well. Today I'm going to talk about what are the challenges faced by my client how we overcome that, what are the outcomes that we have defined, how Brainware has helped uh, our customer in terms of digitalization, using this Udo and making sure like all the hurdles that they are facing in day-to-day -day operations, how we can reduce that out, how we can improve their ROI in terms of business, how we can improve the efficiency of, of, of operation using Udo. So that is the main core agenda for this uh, today's talk. So yeah, challenges if you talk, so they were having more than 5,000 SKU. So imagine like the company who is having such kind of huge number of product catalog uh, and day to day they need to create a quotations, there is a combination, there is a variant, lots of things are going on. There is a there is an issue in terms of visibility, how much is there in my stock, what variance is compatible with which variant or which product, how I can... Uh, if, if I'm getting an inquiry, is it there in my stock or not? So there is a kind of lack of tracking in terms of inventory, variants and all the operations. Uh, they, are, they are having in this industry in manufacturing, so they have a unique part number. So their part number is combination of multiple parameters and uh, they, were, they were not having a s unique kind of code to identify each barcode or, bar or part numbers. They were uh, having issues with the e-commerce platform. So previously they were using Salesforce, but they were struggling because of multiple regions. They were not easily integrated with the third party solutions. They were not easy to, obviously the license cost and everything is high. So uh, we came 
uh, we came to the point like we can we can uh, convert that Salesforce to Udo. We can do the data migration as well, and all the pain points that we can resolve and integration part that we can resolve using Udo. And e-commerce that we have built totally on Udo e-commerce. So previously they were thinking of different different e-commerce solution, but we told rather than having under one database, it will be easy because you have backend operation in Udo. So front end, if you if you want to keep under Udo, and we can help them out for a listing and SEO and digital product, digital marketing as well. That's how we approached, and they they are now under Udo e-commerce. They were having so many uh, manual process because in this business in manufacturing. They were getting so many inquiries from the B2B customer. So either they are having everything on email or phone calls, but they were not having a traceability of for B2B customer as well. Where's my product is? I have given order. I would take or I have taken an inquiry. Where's the court is? So there was a challenges in terms of giving a solution on time due to that. There is a uh, lots of the leads are got lost. Lots of conversion ratio has been dropped down. So they they explained us all these things, all the pain points, and then we given the solution. We have created a unique uh, process for them, uh, dynamic part pa uh, part number configurator. It's more about product configurator that we have done on top of Udo, which is combination of multiple things. And uh, you can see over here uh, th they have different different color, uh, they have different registers, values, uh, tolerance, power, and everything. So which circuit will be best fitted for which component? What is what kind of power it can be utilized? All these things we have given given a product configurator so that in Udo you can easily get an idea which product is compatible with what, and that relation that we have done with each and every product variant. So it's very easy for customer who is purchasing either online or calling on a phone. Like okay, I want this sensor, or I, wa I want this uh, security alarm. So whether it's good fit for my living room, whether it's good fit for my office, so that kind of compatibility check that we have done using unique product configurator and lots of other validation that we have put on on top of uh, Udo. We have integrated with Aircall. So in this manufacturing industry. This kind of VoIP is very useful because you are getting day and night inquiries from your uh, uh, from your B2B customers. Either uh, two types of inquiry. One is like they want a quote from you for a specific thing, and second is like if they already place an order, what is the status, right? So we integrated Aircall, which is kind of third-party VoIP solution, where. Uh, we they can have a the call center the call center team can use this air call process and uh, all the conversation whatever talk they are doing on on VoIP air call that call recording will be stored under Udo so we are tracking everything how much call has been done by which person what is uh, how much time is was uh, has been spent over there what are the recordings and that data we were converting into a lead automatically. So if, if somebody is doing inquiry for certain products, we are adding such information and converting as a one lead, and that lead has been automatically assigned to a sales rep who is available in that area or based on the process, either round robin method or who is list busy. We add allocate to that sales person. So we have streamlined that process for inquiry to the allocation of the sales person. This was I was talking about Udo e-commerce on a front end. We have given a product configurator, so as a end customer who goes on a website can easily select what they are looking for, and their customer are B2B, so they know their technology, they know which product is compatible with what. If they have any concern, they talk with the uh, call center team or sales team. But you can see over here in Udo, we have given a dynamic product configurator. You select your uh, color, you select your for the types, which type you want, which magnet you want, which sensor you want, which circuit will be compatible. And if you are not selecting on a compatible way, we have given a warning alert system. Hey, like you have selected this component, which is not compatible with this product. So it will be easy for customer to identify that and create a certain related product. We have given customer order tracking portal as well. So 
in Udu, we have given access to their B2B customers where they can log in, they can see how many orders they have, what is the status, and they can do partial payment because they do take down payments as well, 20-30%. And if if the same party does have, like same customer want to pay for multiple invoice, we have given functionality like pay multiple invoices, so they can select their open uh, invoices, can select five of them, and they can do batch payment as well. We have given this automated uh, ticketing system. So uh, the issues the client was facing is like so many uh, products they have sell, right? But afterwards, what about the post sale services? Once the customer is satisfied with the product, and if you don't give support or they have any concern afterwards uh, using that product or any issue or any any system is not working properly, then you need to give a proper post sale support as well. For that, they were not having such kind of uh, tool or process or software to give answers on a timely manner or give an accurate information. So that's how the ticketing software has been used. And uh, it's all auto means everything is now automated. Any customer can go online on website, create a ticket, what are the issues they're facing, uh, attach a document or photos, uh, give the rating, like, okay, it's a high priority, or low priority. And based on that, the, the, uh, the backend team have a list of tickets that they've received and they can work on it. So it's helped them overall in the company wise to make their customer uh, retention ratio more. And that's how they increase their efficiency and customer retention ratio. Also, they, they have given, we have added few uh, features as well, like send by WhatsApp or any kind of the want to create a task for any technical team from the tickets itself. They can create a task or uh, any uh, further lead and uh, it goes to the respective team. We've also added global search f functionality in this project, which is like either you're searching any part number or you're searching any product or sales order, purchase order, any bills for vendor bills you want to do payment, rather than going into different different uh, screens or modules, we have given a global search while you add the keywords, relevant uh, keywords will match with the different records and you can identify directly uh, or go to that uh, record directly from the one screen itself. We would add a ticket stage uh, changes analysis. This was needed because once you do your analysis of your returns, what are the products you have sell and returns you are getting, once you do analysis of your uh, issues that faced by the customer, then and then you can be able to resolve or make the product very much efficient. And that's how you can retain, means you can retain your more and more customer and customer retention ratio can go above. So this analysis, we have helped customers get helped due to based on the data that we have feeded over here. So each and every ticket they got, they do analysis of like, okay, how many is an open? How much time it took to resolve that ticket? Okay, and who did that job? And what are the process that they have done? So we have given a functionality to add a root cause over there. So in future, if same ticket comes back for any customer with the same issue, that person can identify, okay, it was been resolved by a this, this manner. There is a root cause which can be identified. So again, it doesn't need to add same amount of time, which has been already previously invested. So that's how the other technician, other people can utilize that information and can resolve more and more tickets on a day-to-day -day manner. So this screen, they, they use as a reporting purpose, how much sold, how much customer replied, which are the waiting from experts, like technical team, all those things and everything, data information, we added in a private view. This is more about uh, the workflow, just, just to give in a high level glimpse in a business process manner, like if any customers comes, they have multiple way of channels, like one is e-commerce, one is phone call, so which is they are using VOIP air call. And e-commerce by their own, they can process and add to cart and for a phone call they can get a consultations compatibility check which product is best fitted for them and they can create a unique product configurator for them because in this manufacturing for security alarm system 
each product is unique and each product have their own different different components then uh, we create a dynamic part number which is again combination of multiple uh, variants and whole order to cash process if it's the product is ready to ship we have integrated with ship station which take care of fulfillment creating a labels and delivery if it's not there they do the manufacturing and if it's already uh, fulfilled by the ship station automatically we create a portal for that customer and give an email like okay hey you have already purchased so this is the portal for your back end uh, tracking of your orders and uh, you can go over there you can see uh, further uh, invoice details uh, status details and everything so that portal itself will be used further for after sales support for creating a ticket or checking the history of the ticket everything so to conclude more about uh, the tangible outcome has been achieved by our customer is uh, getting more and more benefit in efficiency one thing because previously lots of things where they were doing manually they were not having a uh, all means they have a decentralized system and not tracking of your inventory or uh, the the different different part numbers was not any much visible how much inventory i have so that's how we have increased their efficiency using the odoo uh, in a big manner automation way and they have increased their roi previously whatever the work or they were doing might be it was taking more time in terms of not having visibility or portal that's how we do uh, help them out and uh, overall reduction 20% in operational costs they have they have found out and 53% rise in the productivity with odoo uh, integration like similar to sh uh, ship station air call such kind of third party is always useful because everything you can't do under odoo you might need to do integrations and uh, each software has their own beauty so we can utilize that and integrate further few of our clients that we have worked with in in retail domain manufacturing domain uh they talk about ajmal perfume sharold into manufacturing uh toyota distributor in middle east we have given whole uh, year mac model process on top of voodoo american tire depot which is into usa for tire distribution Larson into jewelry, so we have worked with uh, such brands. Perfect. That's it from my side. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, I would be happy to answer. Thank you. Hello. Hi. Um, as as more people fill in the pad, we have one already. What other security related project implementation have you done? Okay. apart from this uh, we have already done multiple security related projects so uh, one of them is behlera medical which is into uh, el for elderly people they give a gps device which uh, which we help them in terms of any emergency so all end to end odoo implementation that we have done for them and uh, managing their subscription their uh, whole invoicing process and integrations with sim card provider and everything so it helps for elderly people so such one project we did another is into uh, f uh, fire ext extinguisher like uh, their manufacture of uh, fi fire related alarms and sec uh, security purposes mm -hmm. that we have done odoo in uh, canada vancouver yeah okay perfect uh second question would you suggest odoo to a startup company 100% because uh, this this product beauty of this product is like any startup who is still going on ideation phase or has uh, taken a product into implementations and want to start basic operation of sales purchase inventory manufacturing it's very easy for them because it's a very standard mm -hmm. and uh, easy to use and it's mo way more scalable so in future if your products get more and more sales and got uh, kind of uh, increase in the sales and revenue the same product the same software you can use in future as well so startup and smes are the right fit for this software and mm. it's easy to use okay perfect uh there is one more typing let's just wait for them to finish okay in what stage of your business did you start using odoo okay so um, i would suggest uh, what based on my experience is like uh, when when you need a software which is 
which is helping you on a day-to-day -day operations mm -hmm. and you can focus on actual your business to grow talking with your customer getting more leads and inquiries and orders yeah. at that time the software will be able to do the other operation and your other team members can utilize the software and can make an order do the shipments process the PO supplier yeah. talking with the supplier mm -hmm. so that way uh, at that stage when you your you you are growing your company and you are getting more and more sales at that time i would suggest the owner should be focusing on getting the more business and the back end software like udo should take care of the operation thing okay perfect and another question were there any credit customers sorry credit customers do you have any credit customers uh, credit customers i would say uh, more about in b2b yes so uh, they they give credits because it's a long term agreement we do blanket order because everything is long term and likewise uh, they can have a multi year contract uh, given credit used using that credit they can place an order once that credit gets over they get intimations and then how they add the wallet okay yes perfect uh, so that's all for now perfect. in case they have any other questions i believe they can come and sure, sure. talk to you after this thank you thank you so much thank you